rundown. Oh, rundown. This is funny. Uh, basically, what happens here is the two bomb sites are on one side of these bridges in the middle uh, where defense is, and then on the other side is where offense is. And guess what? Offense can't get to those bombs if the bridges are held down properly. So, totally a defense map. It, there's just no contest here. The defense on rundown has a great advantage, and that it doesn't have to cross the, the bridges. The defense will try not to cross the bridges and instead just hold them down, while the offense will have to break either the top bridge or the bottom bridge to get through to the bombs. Rundown is a 3 and 4 out of sniping. The defense offers great lines of sights to prevent the offense from approaching the bridge, but in the meantime you want to go for the assault rifles and play to the map's strong suits, its mid-range points. Okay, so Scrapyard. Now being a small map, it is definitely fair to put at least one of the bomb sites really close to the defensive spawn because there's really nowhere else to put it. Uh, so they're in good spots. It's just that uh, offense is going to have a tough time getting to them because of the limited amount of ways to get there. There aren't a whole lot of rush routes on Scrapyard. You're very limited in your choices. It's one of the only maps that offers spawn nading as well. B will give you more coverage, but A is just... Um, um, what to say about A? It's easier to defend. Sniping on Scrapyard got a 1 out of 4, mainly because although there is sight lines from the main spawn buildings for both offense and defense, they really don't help the objective that much. The defense does have one sight line looking through the offensive spawn. Skid Row has both bomb sites indoors. The B bomb site is going to generate more traffic as it is centered in the middle and is more easily rushable for both the offense and the defense. As far as routes go on Skid Row, it's kind of a funny story. Offense has almost no chance of getting through the middle uh, of any part of the map. I don't mean literally the middle, I mean left, right, or center, middle. Um, the only way they can really do it is by going to the right of their spawn and jumping up the boxes onto the balcony and then trying to work their way into the building. Or if they're really feeling lucky, they can run down the tunnel, but they really have to hope that nobody's waiting for them at the end. Sniping on Skidra got a 2 out of 4. There is a spawn sniping spot for both sides, from right through the middle of the map and there's also a spot through the tunnel and using the stairs on the right side to look over B. The sub base is a very balanced map. The offense would be better off taking B as it has a better advantage because it is closer and they have the building to act as cover for them. This is one of those maps that uh, either side can really go anywhere they want. Uh, mostly in general you're going to go either left, right, or center for both sides. Uh, but the thing is that both sides also have a, uh, a height that they can get up on, on top of the buildings on their sides, which can give either of them an, the advantage uh, depending on who takes it. Sniping on subbase got a 3 out of 4. The defense will want to take advantage of the air conditioning units on their side of the spawn, while the offense will want to take advantage of the middle building using the, the verticality as an advantage to counter snipe the enemy. Terminal is a bit one-sided. The B bomb site is going to generate more attention because of the lack of sites and paths that A has. The defense will definitely have the advantage over B because they are able to get to that position first and hold it down better. As far as routes go, all the defense really has to do is run up the middle, run up the right, and go into the plane and watch the left window, and the offense can't go any further than the middle. So all the offense can really do is try to pick off defense as they make mistakes, which if you're playing a good team, isn't really going to happen, so defense just is almost always going to win this map. Sniping on terminal got a 3 out of 4. The defense has a great advantage because of their number of sight lines, including the cockpit and the top of the tanker if blown up. The offense can use the counter near Burger Town to look through down B. Okay, now we got underpass. Now due to where defense spawns pretty close to B, uh, they're going to have a pretty easy time defending B. As far as A goes, uh, if both sides rush A uh, right off the start, offense is actually going to get there at the same time as defense, and if they pre-flash or pre-stun, they can get a pretty easy rush plan off at A. The offense has a lot of choices for their rush routes, for their opening routes. They can, there's a lot of buildings to jump on, a lot of buildings to jump off, a lot of environment to hide behind, a lot of crates, a lot of bushes, a lot of grassy areas. Really using this can take the advantage and give the surprise over the defense. Sniping on underpass got a 2 out of 4. There are a couple sight lines, mainly in the defense's favor. The defense will want to use the building in A, the middle building, and the barrels looking over B side, while the offense will want to use the triple root building to look over A. 
On Wasteland, the defense will have the advantage over A. The offense's focus will be primarily on to B. It's easier for them to rush to, and they can take a quicker advantage over it. Since this is a large, really open map, uh, you would think that snipers would be the dominant thing, and they are, but uh, the thing is that SMG is actually a really good choice as well, especially for offense rushing straight to B, uh, taking a rush plant or trying to rush to the the center underground part and take that over. Otherwise, you got snipers uh, surrounding the entire map trying to pick people off everywhere, and you have also have those turrets on e either side which can uh, you can attempt to, to spawn kill people with. That's always fun. Sniping on Wasteland got a 4 out of 4, mainly because of the large size of the map. The defense will want to use the gate near their spawn to defend the flank of A, while both sides will want to use the cover that is surrounded, surrounding B to pick off en to enemy snipers and enemy rushers. Alright, so that is all the maps for Modern Warfare 2, at least the, the starter maps, not counting the, the map packs as always. So you probably noticed that there's uh, a large, a wide variety of maps. You've got some open ones, some long ones, some uh, vertical ones, some close quarters ones. I mean, I would say Modern Warfare 2 probably has the biggest variety of maps, and I mean that can be a good thing, but it also makes uh, obviously some of them better than others. So gotta thank our two guests, uh, Samal, Shotgun Sim, what's up, <laughs> and Wild. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Uh, I guess you guys should stay tuned for tomorrow. I th think it'll be tomorrow when I put up the Black Ops maps, or part one of the Black Ops maps at least. And you're probably going to see a decrease in quality starting uh, now. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? What? Is that a compliment? <laughs> no. <laughs>